Well, um, first of all, we'll take the win. You know, that's the objective, and uh, I think that's our 20th game in a row we've won in McHale, which obviously uh, any team and program takes great pride in defending their home court. And uh, with the great crowd, I'd like to thank our crowd and Zona Zoo for such an early game. It was just awesome to see the them turn out the way they did. And hopefully on Wednesday we'll have uh, an even bigger and brighter crowd. Uh, because we, def we depend so much on the energy uh, when we play a home game. A couple bright spots, uh, Jesse Perry and Kyle Fall, two seniors. Uh, while our team is a work in progress, like many teams, you always want to depend on your most experienced players. And I thought Jesse and Kyle just really did an excellent job. Two other bright spots, Nick Johnson's continued development and play. Plays like he practices, played today like he played in the two exhibition games. And playing him 25 minutes right now is his starting point, and I can see that even going higher. We're always in search right now, trying to find a way to play him a little bit more because he's really earning it. Uh, Angelo Cho, we switched his position, I guess, about a week ago. Some of the set plays that we call, you know, he just he shouldn't know him at this point. But uh, he's just an energetic guy and somebody who plays with a lot of energy. He practices hard. He's a fantastic kid. And I'm just really happy to see him contribute the way he did. You know, Angelo, two months from now, to me, is going to be so much further along than he is right now. As he continues to play and practice, he's going to keep getting better. So I think, to me, that was a bright spot. And we have a quick turnaround to play a talented Duquesne team, a team that I'm very familiar with, well coached. They're going to press for 40 minutes like you have never seen a team press. They make it as chaotic as they can, and uh, our guards really have to take care of the basketball in this next game. How much better has Jesse gotten in the last year or so? Well, that's one of the messages I gave our team, Steve, after the game. It's, it's not where you start, it's where you finish. If you would have judged Jesse Perry as an Arizona player last November, you would probably say to yourself, Boy, it's going to be a reach if he really is able to contribute. And if you think about where he finished last season, he was on the all-tournament team and was a big reason he won the Pac-10 championship. Uh, to me, he picked up right where he left off. And uh, he's got a great way about him. He's a leader. He's a winner. And I believe he's going to have a good season for us. Can you kind of compare the way the offense ran tonight with Josiah versus Jordan at the point? It's just too early to tell. I mean, uh, the reason that Josiah and Jordan both played is uh, Jordan's doing a really good job, and, and we believe in Josiah. Where that, that will be two weeks from now or a month from now could be much different than you look at right now. You know, Jordan's at the beginning of his sophomore year, and Josiah played his first game in Arizona. It's kind of what I was saying a month ago. For anyone to speculate that these young guys are going to be in the NBA or whatever, they, they have to first try to learn our system and play the college game. And uh, and that's really what you're seeing with, with our freshmen. Could, could you talk about Jordan and his demeanor? He's got like a coolness to him or like a nonchalant coolness. I don't know if it's right. Like... You know, Jordan Mays is a winner. He won two state championships at Westchester High School. Came to Arizona, won a Pac-10 championship, and uh, played well tonight. Uh, Part of what I say to him all the time is exactly right. Uh, basketball is just not a game where you can be cool. It just it, it doesn't work out that way. And uh, I don't think that he necessarily wants to look that way, but uh, we need him to be a little bit more vocal, a little bit more energetic. And, you know, he's a great shooter who can't make a free throw right now. And I think <laughs> part of what I said to him is, uh, you know, Nick Wise and Momo Jones, if you go back, you'll see that those two guys made more big pressure free throws in the last four minutes than Two more than any guys that I've, I've been around. Well, now you look at our guard, someone like Jordan, we should really be able to count on at the end of the game. And, you know, going to the line with purpose and making them is, is really important for our team. But uh, Jordan Mays can also play with Josiah. It's not like one has to be in and one, one has to be out. And as you look at guys perform, you can clearly see that uh, that could be in the future.